Okay, so our first example for a related rates problem. We have a hot air balloon rising straight up from a level field. I'm going to start drawing my picture from this. So, level field, I have a hot air balloon, and I forgive the fact that, please forgive the fact I am not an artist. I'll say it's blow, the wind is blowing hard there. So, we have a hot air balloon that's rising up, and it's going up. 500 feet from the liftoff point, we have a rangefinder. A rangefinder is just a device that tracks how far away things are, as well as any angles of observation. 500 feet is not changing, so I am going to put the 500 feet on my drawing. At the moment, the rangefinder's angle of elevation is pi over 4 degrees, so the angle of elevation is from the rangefinder up to the balloon. And we are told that angle is pi over 4, but because the balloon is rising, this angle is changing. So I want to put a variable for that angle. I like using the Greek alphabet for angles, so I'm going to say that this is theta. And off to the side, I'm going to put, at the moment I'm being asked about, theta is pi over 4 radians. Remember, in calculus, we use radians, not degrees, for the majority of time. So if you're going to be using your calculator, please make sure your calculator is in radians. Okay. I'm then told the angle is increasing at a rate of 0.1 radians per minute. So that is a rate of change of the angle, which in calculus would be d theta dt. And it's increasing, so this is going to be a positive rate of 0.1 radians per minute. And I'm being asked how fast the balloon is rising. Okay, so that's about its height. Well, I don't know what its height is. And its height is also changing. So on my picture, because the height is changing, I'm going to put a variable there. And they want me to find the rate that h is changing. So I'm being asked to find dh dt. So I drew a picture. On my picture, I put my constants off to the side. In calculus notation, I listed the values of what I know at the moment I'm being asked about and what it is I'm looking for. So now I need an equation. And looking at my picture, I want an equation that somehow involves the things I have. Specifically, I at least need the variables, theta and h involved in this. So because it involves an angle, I'm thinking trig. So I do have a right triangle here. So it's right triangle trigonometry. Uh, h would be the opposite side. 500 would be the adjacent. So the tangent of theta equaling h over 500 is a great equation to start with. Uh, I'm, for ease of use, h over 500 is the same as 1 over 500 times h, because 1 over 500 is a constant multiple. I then want to take the derivative of this equation with respect to time. This is my sole calculus step. So the derivative of tangent is secant squared. Inside doesn't change, but the inside is a function because that's not t, so I need times d theta dt equals 1 over 500 is a constant multiple. The derivative of h is 1, but that's not a t, so I need a dh dt. Uh, at this point, it's kind of nice to go ahead and plug in our values before we start having to isolate. Uh, because it just makes isolating easier if I have all numbers involved here. So the secant squared of pi over 4. So I'll have the secant squared of pi over 4. d theta dt is 0 0.1. I have 1 over 500 times dh dt. Well, the secant squared of pi over 4 is 1 over cosine squared of pi over 4. Cosine squared of pi over 4 would be two, rad 2 over 2 squared, which is 2 over 4, which is half. Reciprocal of that is 2. So I have 0 0.2 times 1 over 500. I'm sorry, times 0 0.2 is what I get when I do 2 times 0 0.1 is equal to 1 over 500 dh dt. So I have 100 is equal to dh dt. 
Uh, I do typically need to give units for this, even though it doesn't say it uh, on the AP exam, they pretty much always ask for units for these. So for this, uh, my units of distance are being measured in feet. My time is being measured in minutes. So my balloon is rising at 100 feet per minute at the moment in time when theta is pi over 4. That is the interpreting in the context of the problem. 